Hi, I'm Paul Toll from PaulToll.com and in this video tutorial I will show you the basic installation for cross ties for GOG.com games in Crossover. If you want to know more about Crossover, go to the About and then go to the About Crossover page. On this page you can uh, learn everything about Crossover, what it is, what it does, what cross ties are, and uh, everything around it. Well, let's go back to the tutorial about cross ties installations of uh, GeoGeo.com games. This, because basically all installations are all the same, so this will cover all the GeoGeo.com installations of the game ports on my website. In this tutorial, I will show you the example installation of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Of course, that can be on GeoGeo.com can be any GOG game I have ported, but I need to take an example. So there will be Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. First, go to the Game Ports page and select the genre of the games you want to play. So if you go to Game Ports, and then in this case it will be Auto Simulator, Auto Sim. and then check if the specific game is into the catalog. If not, check regularly the blog where I keep you informed about what new Mac games are released and cross ties and which are created and tested and all kind of things like that plus all kind of news. So, um, well in this case I will use Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 so uh, you see that one is listed here Click on Roller Coaster Tycoon, so it can be any other game, GGLCAM game. So, here you find all the information about the game, inclu including screenshots and stuff like that. So, if the game is listed, what you, what you have saw, then uh, we are now on a game page. And on the game page you will find a slider. And in that slider there's all kind of information about the ported game. And in the slider might also be a uh, blue link, which you can see here, download the wrapper. And that link is an alternative um, wrapper, wine scheme wrapper, uh, which is an alternative of, uh, of crossover. But uh, this will be only on uh, on games uh, where I created a wrapper for. So for all new games I've ported, uh, will be all crossover. So there might be not a wrapper available for that, but if you see a blue button with download the wrapper, then you know there is a uh, wine skin wrapper for this game. Um, so, in this case I will use cross ties. So in this video and um, if you um, don't own a crossover yet, then uh, you can uh, get crossover up here. You can use a trial, free trial, 14 days, or you can buy it. Or um, if you cannot afford it, you can all, well, always, after signing up, you can uh, apply as an advocate. So, as an advocate, there are some, uh, some things you have to do in return. So, you have to rank some applications and uh, you will need to, need to do a beta report if there is a an, uh, an, uh, beta version available. Because uh, they want to improve, of course, crossover. So, that they need some testers. So, then you can apply as an advocate. But if you want to support that work, then um, I would uh, uh, you can uh, buy the game there, or you can buy the program there. So um, when that's done, you can uh, you can download the software. So we will say here, download free trial. You click on download, and then uh, well, you can uh, click on the download button, and it will download the file. And after downloading the file, 
um, it will uh, be well will be in your downloads folder and you can move it to your programs folder and when it's in your programs folder you can just double click to launch it in the first time you launch it you have to fill in your uh, email account and your uh, and your password which you've created uh, in uh, in your registration then you will log in and this will be uh, normally it will be saved and you won't have to uh, to fill that in again so if that is installed and you have launched it once then you can uh, uh, use the cross ties mentioned on the game pages so in this case roller coaster tycoon the only thing you have to do is now you can now use the cross tie and it will uh, it will say which program and it will be crossover you can click on OK if you don't own the, the game yet then you can purchase it using the links which I always provide in here so click on uh, in this case you can also click on the home page here software coming down from the home page but you can also click on here and you can buy the the software up here add it to chart create an account and then install it well I have the software on my other account because I've got two accounts oops And if I go to roller coaster, roller coaster, take in two. As you can see, owned. So you can download it. And after downloading, you can, uh, that will be an installer file. You have to select, choose installer file. You can select the specific installer file. So in this case, it will be. Uh, in this case, it will be the installer of uh, Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, I already downloaded the file here now. So I click here, use this installer. So this can be any GeoGDocom installer. So this video, again, is for every GeoGDocom installer. So if it is uh, Mist or uh, Praetorians or uh, In Cold Blood or uh, Rollercoaster Tycoon, doesn't matter. So, I selected the file, and then you can click on, uh, click on install, and it will install the game. I already have um, a bottle called Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, so this, one, this time it will create a second bottle. So, this, uh, here it will do automatically the installation, then this thingy will go up, that's from GOG.com itself. It's the game client. Click on yes. Click on install. In some cases, um, um, but it will be all also um, in the installation notes. It will also uh, be explained. So read this carefully. So uh, in some cases, it might be that you have to do some more things. So um, it's always advised to read the installation notes so you can uh, play this game properly. In this case, this works out of the box, so there's no extra information except that I advise to use the GeoGDocom version because it's uh, DRM free. So if you use the CD version, you might run in all the kind of troubles. So my advice is use the GeoGDocom version when possible, of course. Um, well, I click on install and then it will install the game. So we have to uh, to wait out the installation. So it will go all automatically. Uh, crossover will also uh, create automatically all kind of shortcuts, which might come uh, in very handy, which I will show you in a second to create aliases and if you create an alias you can 
launch the specific game um, using um, a shortcut in your games folder or anywhere it might be very easy that's something I really like about uh, crossover so you won't have to run through all the menus like this that if you go to crossover you can right click it and then you can go to the all the game folders and stuff in the menu here what you have installed so if you have installed nothing there will be nothing in here but if you installed all kind of stuff then you can quickly go to uh, the specific game but don't click launch click on exit so the installer will um, will can uh, exit nicely and tightly and as you can see here it creates all the shortcuts so click done and that's it you're ready to go and what you can do now is using this right click on the crossover button and do the things but you can also go in the top bar go to the programs and then go to gg.com where I have the roller coaster thrill pack as you can see here but what is nice is if you're gonna click on reveal in Viner if you click on reveal in Viner you see here um, gg.com you see here um, what would we have roller coaster tycoon triple pack and what you can do is create an alias and if you create an alias that's the kind of well double click thingy so if you move this one to your desktop you see here an icon here and you can also of course um, use different icons for uh, it just right click it then and I show info and then move the specific icon of choice to this thingy here and it will change the icon well if you like this kind of icon then you can use this one and with this icon you can launch the game so if you have a games folder you can move it in your games folder and then you can launch the specific game uh, here well you say okay I want to double click it and then you will see it will automatically launch the game simple as that well I gotta quit this this was just to show you how simple it works so thank you for watching see you back on polytol.com if you love the work you do you can always donate to my website and become a premium member um, and for the rest yeah uh, spread the word and see you back on polytol.com bye bye